So this new build property wants a light in the cupboard. Why they didn't put one in to start with, I don't know. So let's mark out the center, find where the studs are, and it looks like I can get the PIR and a down light inside one of the studs, which this is what it looks like. So let's see what's happening here and see whether we can find any cables inside there. Well, it looks like there's cables in there, but are they a permanent live and a neutral? Because we've got another option that side. And if that is a live and a neutral off the lighting circuit, it couldn't have got any more easier. So after a bit of testing to find out it was a live and neutral off the lighting circuit, we can carry on and install the PIR with the live and neutral coming in and then the live and switch live coming out to a down light. And now all we've got to do is break into that live and neutral there with a junction box. And what we're going to use to do this is, of course, Wagos. The three gang Wagos we're going to put in there to get the live and neutral in and out, and then the live and neutral to our new lighting circuit. Just one down light that we're putting inside of the cupboard. And we didn't leave it like that. We put it inside of a quick wire box where sometimes, yes, it doesn't reach into the little locations where they're meant to be, but it was fine. We can still shut it up and put the cable ties on. But of course, we made pencil marks all over that ceiling. So yeah, we're going to have to rub them out. So then for our fine functional test, is it going to work? Of course, it is spot on. There we go. One down light to light up the whole cupboard, PIR controlled. 